I welcome Geta Joroda, advisor to the president of the National Regional State Government of Tigray and also the spokesperson of the Tigray Central Command. Uh, Geta Joroda, welcome to the stage. Thank you. Uh, so tell us about the latest unfolding developments uh, regarding the ongoing war. Well, it's been uh, more than a week now since uh, Abiy Ahmed uh, mm, openly uh, declared war against Tigray. And uh, there have been uh, offensives being being carried out uh, in many parts of uh, Tigray. In fact, the last three days has seen a spike in in, in the offensive uh, with Abi uh, calling on his uh, friend in Azmara to lend his his, his support. And Eritrean forces are now. Uh, uh, part of, openly part of the the campaign against uh, uh, Tigray. In fact, the last couple of days have seen have seen uh, a marked increase in the involvement of Eritrean forces. And Eritrea has now deployed about 16 uh, divisions, uh, about uh, 12 of them infantry divisions and four mechanized divisions, uh, all the way from Aiga through to Adiabo in the west. Uh, it was an open secret. Uh, they were heavily involved in the bombardment of uh, uh, Humara, which uh, obviously has caused uh, significant casualties. Uh, and uh, apart from the uh, offensives in, 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 in the northern part of Tigray, in the northern part of Ethiopia, uh, Abiy's forces have also uh, launched an offensive uh, early this morning in the southern part of Tigray, especially in the Raya region. Uh, and our uh, uh, Tigray defense forces have been uh, repulsing the attacks and uh, causing significant um, damage to the enemy forces uh, all sides of the border. Uh, and apart from the land offensives, Abiy has been busy targeting civilian installations, including uh, power gener generation, the hydroelectric uh, generation units, uh, through the use of, uh, by way of course, uh, airplanes. Uh, our air defense capabilities have been uh, in full use, and we have been able to repulse uh, attacks. But uh, Abiy's forces continue, Air Force continues to attack us. Uh, we've been taking proportionate measures. Uh, like I said, our forces are gallantly uh, defending against the encroachment of the enemy, uh, both from uh, the side of uh, the Eritrean forces and that of uh, Prosperity's forces, uh, the other side of the border, uh, the southern part of uh, Tigray, southern, northwestern, northern, and northeastern part of Tigray. Uh, another development is uh, we've uh, we've uh, we've already declared uh, uh, made clear our position that uh, uh, Tigray defense forces will not sit idly by when Tigrayans uh, are being targeted as a people, uh, and every effort is being made to arm twist us into submission, and all kinds of uh, military hardware hardware. Uh, including airplanes are being used uh, to devastating effect against civilian infrastructures in, in Tigray. And so uh, as part of our promise to retail it, uh, our uh, strategic uh, defense units have uh, taken proportionate measures uh, against the uh, uh, military uh, runway and the uh, control tower in Bahardar and uh, Gondar airports. Uh, it's our understanding uh, that we have caused significant damage to the uh, military assets at the Bahardar and Gondar airport. Uh, and as, as, as I have said earlier, uh, we'll continue to target uh, facilities that are being used to target Tigray and Tigray interests in other parts of the country. Uh, whether uh, these are uh, airports in, in Eritrea or uh, airports in other parts of the country or even uh, infrastructure that is being used uh, to, to, to uh, arm us into submission. So 
will will uh, we've, we've promised to pay Abi in his own coins when it comes to uh, his efforts to cow us to 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 uh, to cow us into submission and uh, will continue to target uh, selected targets both in Baharlar and uh, in Gondar and uh, other parts of the country as, as long as we deem it 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 uh, necessary uh, to avert uh, the kind of reckless. Uh, attacks that are being directed against us. This is uh, pretty much. Like I said, uh, the offensive is uh, in full swing now. Uh, it, 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 it's, it's, it's strange uh, considering the fact that Eritrean forces have, uh, uh, have been involved in looting uh, civilian property, uh, destroying harvests of uh, poor peasants in uh, the parts they have uh, been able to set foot. And this organized effort is being done uh, in collaboration with Abiy Ahmed, who, who obviously uh, would have you believe that he is doing it in the interest of Ethiopia and Ethiopians. It's very unfortunate. The claim by the group in power in Addis is that the proportionate measure that you talked about uh, was a rocket attack with limited impact on both places. Well, I'm, I'm not going to uh, say much about the impact. All I, I know is we have attacked the airports and we have uh, caused significant damage and we'll continue to target uh, not just the airports but also other uh, infrastructures as long as we deem uh, the, the attacks necessary. Uh, it's not just about Bahadar and Gondar. In fact, in Bahadar and Gondar, uh, as long as there are other targets, we will continue to, to, to hit selected targets but in many other, in many parts of the country as well. And of course, that would include uh, facilities in Eritrea that are being used to, to target us. What do you make of the uh, report by the Amnesty International regarding the alleged atrocities at Maikadra, Western Tigray? Uh, well, the, 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 our position is that uh, the, those things need to be investigated. Uh, those allegations need to be taken very seriously. All I can tell at this point is that uh, Tigray and the people of Tigray uh, has no uh, business in, in engaging in the kinds of atrocities. And in fact, the information I have is that uh, uh, Tigrayan, said, Tig Tigrayan uh, residents in Maikadra uh, in what is called the Samra camp were targeted by uh, hooligans from, from the other side of the border. Uh, and I think the best thing to do is to open the door for uh, an independent investigation and we'll be able to get to the bottom of things once that's done. Okay, uh, also there are disturbing reports uh, that uh, Tagaru living in Addis and other regions outside Tigray are being targeted uh, and many injustices being committed against them and this is apart from the things once that's done okay uh, also there are disturbing reports uh, that uh, tagaru living in addis and other regions outside tigray are being targeted uh, and many injustices being committed against them and this is apart from the open invasion bombardment, blockade, complete blockade against Tigray, uh, and uh, all these uh, injustices. What is your message to the international community? Well, uh, my message to the international co community is uh, that to the extent that the international community is serious about uh, uh, preventing genocide, uh, I think uh, it's high time uh, that they take uh, this uh, reports of uh, persecution of Tigray very seriously. Tigrayans very seriously. Uh, Tigrayan civil servants are being singled out, uh, being uh, now being sent to concentration camps, uh, being profiled as, as uh, uh, enemy agents. Uh, they have been forced out of their jobs. Uh, they have been rounded up uh, simply because they speak Tigrinya. Uh, and uh, military personnel who have uh, loyally served their country for more than 30 years are now being either incarcerated or uh, persecuted in, in a very wanton manner. Uh, and everything that the, the Kabbal in Aratkino is doing has the, 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 the signs of uh, uh, ethnic cleansing written all over it. So if the international community uh, fails to see 
uh, this development for what they are, which is a preparation uh, for an all-out genocide against the people of Tigray, and then uh, I don't think it will be able to. Uh, it will. I don't think it will have uh, uh, discharged its responsibility by the time uh, the genocide uh, they are now unleashing uh, is on full display. Uh, it will have been uh, too late, and the international community needs to take these reports very seriously. These reports uh, are not just figments of uh, our imagination. They are being done uh, uh, in, on, in, in an official manner. Um, officials, uh, Abiy Ahmed, officials, uh, including Abiy Ahmed himself, have been very vocal about singling out Tigrayans uh, for persecution, and it's really dangerous. And finally, this uh, war is declared on the Ethiopian people in general. Uh, and what is the response of the uh, Ethiopian, the rest of the Ethiopian people, and also Eritreans, because uh, they stand to suffer from uh, such uh, coordinated attack against Tigray, Eritreans also? Look, I mean, the, the, the reason why Abiy is very intent on, Abiy and Isaias are very intent on uh, securing the submission of Tigray is because Tigray they they think is only thing that stands in the way of their their uh, their authoritarian ambitions in the region, and any uh, success on their part to to cow Tigrayans into submission would give them a carte blanche to lord it over the rest of uh, the people in the region. That's their thinking, at least. So it behooves Ethiopians. Uh, and of course Eritreans at large, uh, to work uh, tirelessly uh, against uh, such a reckless move on the part of Abi and Isaias Aforki. Like I said, uh, we'll, we'll leave no stone unturned to defend uh, the interest of Tigray, defend our people, our, our, our autonomy, our self-determination rights, and our survival. What's at stake is our survival as a people. Uh, they are on record uh, threatening to wipe us out, uh, to wipe us out and it's not just about wiping Tigrayans out uh, of the, uh, the face of earth. It is just about uh, uh, securing the submission of uh, islands and dry uh, as far as their authoritarian ambitions uh, go. So, yes, uh, Eritreans have been very consistent in voicing their concern and voicing their opposition against uh, Isaias and Abi's uh, reckless adventures. And Ethiopians uh, from many parts of the country have also been expressing concern and, of course, uh, expressing their opposition. But uh, uh, they, they need to do more. Uh, but Tigray uh, is, is, is uh, in this uh, with the clear understanding uh, of the nature of the danger that we are facing. It's a question of survival for us. We either survive or we'll be wipe, wiped out as a people from the face of the earth. And uh, uh, all I can tell you is we'll do everything in our power to make sure that those people who are threatening to erase us uh, off the face of the uh, earth uh, uh, do not, uh, do not, uh, uh, yeah, do not, do not uh, realize that ambition. Okay, so we'll do everything in our power, and uh, we have our people on our side. And uh, uh, we'll make sure uh, Abi and Isaiah's dream will remain a pipe dream, not a reality. That's what I can say. Uh, advisor to the president of the National Regional State Government of Tigray and also spokesperson of the Com Tigra uh, Tigray's Central Command. Thank you for this You're welcome. update. You're welcome. Well, we have come to the end of the interview. Thank you for watching.